In this section we'll be looking at the Vermin K8055 project board. This is a board that allows us to connect to the PC and control external circuits. The connection is very simple via USB. You can see the socket here on the bottom of the board. On the left hand side you can see the input circuits. We've got five test switches here so we can test those during development but the connections will be made through this screw block here. We've also got an analog input where we can connect two analog inputs. This could be handy for a light dependent resistor perhaps to control the headlights. Over on the right, you can see we have eight status indicators for the eight digital outputs, and here are the eight connections that we'll attach to our relays. Above those, we've got the analog outputs. That's the Velleman. So, let's get it connected. Here it is sitting on the desk, usb into the Apple Mac. So here we are at the Mac with our test application running. It's an application that I downloaded off the web, it's not one we're using in the car. So we see with this we can select output 1 and whoopee we've made an LED come on. So we can turn that on and off, we can turn on all of the outputs 1 through to 8 and in this test application we've even got a cycle so we just click and ooh, very night rider. Well the test app is very good, means we can turn lights on and off but we're going to need something a bit more car PC friendly. So I've made a call to Jamie because I can't do computer graphics for Toffee and he's rustled me up these icons here. We can see we've got an on and off state, a brushed aluminium background to put the buttons onto, a headlamp on off, interior lighting on off, a power switch to turn the Veleman on off itself, an icon for free ice, PlayStation off, PlayStation on, and a couple of blanks with the Wolf logo on because I'm not going to be using all eight of the circuits. So, what does that look like? once we get it installed in the car. So let's have a little look at how it all comes together in the car. Into FreeIce, onto the second page of menus, looking for the button that Jamie drew for us, and there it is. Fire up the application which I wrote, and there we can see the buttons which I was showing you earlier on the Mac. We can control the aerial, uh, the main amp in the car, the base amp in the car, lovingly known as Base of Borg. You can see he's done us a, a quite impressive Borg Cube graphic there for that one. We can turn the PlayStation on and off, we can control the headlights and some internal panel illumination. So, hope you enjoyed this little look at what we can do with the Veleman K8055, and hopefully, in another video, we'll cover connecting up some of the relays and actually getting these circuits rocking and rolling.